the 1990s there have been multiple reports of big cat activity in Oxfordshire. From mysterious black panthers stalking the countryside to cats the size of dogs creeping through gardens, Oxfordshire residents have had their fair share of strange animal sightings. These are just some of the strange stories from our archives, could these creatures still be lurking around the county? Westcott, 2000 Back in 2000, villagers in Westcott, near Wantage, reported seeing a cat the size of a Doberman roaming the countryside over the period of a few weeks. Thames Valley Police spokesman Richard Goodfellow said, We encourage people to report sightings to us. But although all these sightings are noted, there is little we can do about it apart from offer advice about not approaching the animal. We then inform our wildlife liaison department who keep full records of sightings and potential sightings. Hinksy Park, 2001 In December of this year another big cat was spotted. The mysterious creature was described as twice as big as a domestic cat and was seen by Roy Jarman who opened the gates of Hinksy Park each morning. He said, it was about 10 yards away and let out this terrifying scream, then shot off in the opposite direction. Mr. Jarman, who was 75 at the time, said he believed he saw the animal a second time when it attacked a goose on the far side of the lake by the railway line. He said, I heard the wildcat let out this screech again and I could tell it had the goose by a wing. All the other birds went over to the other side of the lake and geese were dive-bombing the cat. Whatever's out there seems pretty dangerous. Bryce Norton, 2005 in one of the most famous sightings, a suspected big cat was photographed in a field opposite the Mason's Arms pub in Burford Road, Bryce Norton, in 2005. Yarton, 2005. Ian McCormick said he was driving home to Livingston Close in Yantun when he stopped at a level crossing in Sandy Lane. He described how a panther walked over the railway line right in front of him. Mr. McCormick said, it was definitely a big cat. It was 30 yards away and I had my headlights on full beam. It never even looked at me. Fawler, 2005 Eileen Russell was driving in Fawler, near Chalbury, when a large, black cat leaped across the road and forced her to slam on the brakes. She said, I wondered what the heck it was. I couldn't believe it. I was born here and I have never seen anything like it. I never believed the stories before but I do now. It was all quite a shock. It was the size of an Alsatian, but longer. I was so amazed, I had to come home and tell everybody. I don't know if they believed it. One person asked if I had been drinking. Carswell, 2006. When looking out of her daughter's window, Jo Naylor spotted a cat-like creature stalking the fields near her house. When she snapped a photo of the animal it ran off into the distance. She said, I was looking out of the window and saw this black thing way off in the field. I watched it for about 10 to 15 minutes and then went to get my camera. When I got back, it was a lot closer and I managed to get a better look at it. It was just lolloping around the area. I took a picture and the flash sent it running up the field and through the woods. When I first saw the animal I thought it was a big dog but the tail was much longer and it looks like a big black cat. Stonesfield Common, 2015 A few years later in 2015 another big cat was spotted but this time on Stonesfield Common near Charlbury. Dog walker Fraser Downer spotted a suspected big cat which was slinking slowly and purposefully through the long grass. He said, I watched in almost disbelief trying to fathom out what it was but there is simply no domestic cat big enough to match. It's not a tiger or lion, obviously, but I would liken it to Labrador or German Shepherd size or whatever that equates to in feline terms. I've heard stories from my village about black cats seen while deer stalking but it wasn't until I told my fiancé and we read an Oxford Mail article online that I decided to call in, for sight recording purposes really. Upper Arncott, 2017 Sightings of another big cat reappeared in 2017 when Lisa London says she saw a panther-like creature stroll across the road in front of her in broad daylight. She said, as I came out of the residential bit there were no other cars on the road. 
You go down a country road and what I saw was maybe 100 yards in front of me. It essentially strolled across the road from the right to the left then leapt into the bushes. It looked like a black panther. It was shiny black and there was no way it was a dog or a deer or a domestic cat. It was too big. Mrs. London estimated the creature was a meter tall and a meter and a half long. She added, it wasn't scary, it was beautiful. Carter Tun, 2020. 011. Sisters out walking near R.E.F. Bryce Norton believed they captured footage of the Beast of Burford. April Millin said, I just so happened to look up through the trees and I saw what I thought was a black Labrador dog. She explained the creature had a long tail and the sisters could see its shoulder blades as it walked. She added, it stopped and looked at us before walking away through some bushes. It was far enough in the field for us to not be able to see a domestic cat. This was a lot bigger, we could see its shiny black smooth looking coat. It happened so quickly and I had forgotten my phone so I asked my sister to film. There have been reports of sightings from at least six different locations in Cheshire over the last three or four months including in Ellesmere Port, Chester and Warrington. As well as physically seeing apparent big cats, people have also reported finding large paw prints as well as hearing growling noises close to where previous sightings have occurred. Below are all the reported sightings that have been covered recently by Cheshire Live. Chester Meadows, December. A delivery driver claimed he spotted an enormous big cat prowling in Chester. Richard Evans said he took the photograph of the mysterious creature as he was heading back into the city on December 13 at around 3.45 p.m. after delivering McDonald's. A delivery driver claims he spotted an enormous big cat he believes to be a puma in Chester, image, Richard Evans Puma Watch North Wales. The food courier said he pulled over and took the photo from the A51 road near Barrel Well Hill and Mount Place and believes what he saw was a puma. Richard reported the sighting to Puma Watch North Wales, telling them it was absolutely massive and like nothing he had ever seen before. The delivery driver told the group, I was out on my bike coming back into town after delivering someone's McDonald's when I spotted an enormous big cat across the river on the meadows. I pulled over to take a picture and tried to shout to a dog walker nearby but they couldn't hear me. It was prowling along the edge of the long grass then disappeared into the undergrowth. It was absolutely massive though, like nothing I've ever seen. Ince Marshes, Ellesmere Port. Suspected big cat paw print found just 300 meters from where the reported sighting occurred in Ellesmere Port, image, Andy Puma Watch North Wales. A paw print was found near a suspected big cat sighting in Ellesmere Port. Andy, who did not want to give his surname, said he saw a large but slender animal at Ince Marshes in Ellesmere Port on December 16 at around 7.30 a.m. He said he reported for his job that morning and as he approached his work area he saw a mysterious creature which was cat-like and had a very long tail. Speaking to Cheshire Live, Andy said, it was about 7.30 a.m. when I reported for work and it was still dark and quite chilly. I saw a large animal in front of me and it appeared to have features of a cat. It was covered in fur, which wasn't shaggy, but very close to its body. What struck me was the length of its tail. It was a large animal, bigger than a Labrador and it definitely was not a dog. It was moving quite quickly, but I got the impression it wasn't moving at top speed. Chester Meadows, January A woman claimed she heard a really deep growl while she was taking her new puppy on a walk on the Chester Meadows. She claimed she sat on a bench and heard the growl behind her coming from dense undergrowth, which startled both her and the puppy. The woman, named Imogen according to Puma Watch North Wales, said, This sounds really crazy, but I was walking my dogs and our puppy wanted to be picked up as was her second walk. I had a blanket around me as a sling as she's heavy. We sat down on a bench in front of dense trees and I tried to put her in the sling. We were alone and heard a really deep growl from behind us. The puppy and I both turned around immediately. Manchester Ship Canal, Warrington, 